Welcome to Alphabet City. This is the show that covers everything related to Alphabet Inc. Alphabet owns lots of companies like Verily, Jigsaw, and Google. I'm your guide, Ayaz Akhtar, and you are the wonderful audience. Today we're talking about Google's $5 billion problem, Waymo hitting a milestone, your comments, and more. But first, the new pixels are ticking people off. Let's go to Pixel Park. So the Pixel 3 and Excel are out right now. They're built by Google and they feature pure Android. That should be a dream come true, right? Yeah, sorry, no. Reports of problems with the new Pixels have been popping up. First up, some Pixel owners are saying that the 3 and Excel sometimes forget to save photos. There's a Reddit thread as well as a post on Google's Pixel forum about it. The bug also affects both versions of the Pixel 2 as well. Here's how the scenario plays out according to the posts. You take a picture, then you see it show up in the preview icon. If you switch to another app, the photo goes away. If you go to the camera, the Reddit poster says you can watch the preview actually disappear in front of your eyes and go back to the previous picture that did save. Apparently this was an issue on the Nexus 5X as well. Other reports on Reddit and Twitter say that the newest pixels may have memory issues. One tweet says apps require frequent reloading. There's a video showing off how the Pixel had to reload apps and compared it to a OnePlus 6 phone, which did not have that problem. Another mentioned that you could kill a Spotify stream by taking a few pictures with the camera app. There are also reports online complaining about the speakers on the Pixel 3 XL. One, the speakers do not pump out audio at the same volume level. On the Google Pixel subreddit, a user says that the top speaker lacks highs and bottom is crazy loud. Bass seemed about even with both. Google posted a response in the thread and said, Hi all, this is by design. We specifically designed speakers that allow for louder sound, 40% louder than last year, and better low frequency response. We use new amplifier technology with advanced speaker protection algorithms to push these speakers harder and really get every last bit of performance out of them. Over on Twitter and Reddit, there are some complaints that regardless of Google's design, there are still speaker issues, particularly something like a buzzing sound. One person on Reddit said their buzzy speaker problem randomly 100% disappeared. Let's talk about Top Shot. It's Google's snazzy feature that makes sure you don't take a mistimed photo. But it turns out there might be a catch. The main picture is shot at 12.2 megapixels, but according to 9to5Google, the other pictures are taken at a much lower 3 megapixels. So you might get a nice picture, but it might be in a lower resolution than you were expecting. One more Pixel thing, the two devices were torn down by iFixit. iFixit found that the Pixel 3 XL uses a Samsung OLED display. Meanwhile, the regular 3 uses an OLED panel by LG. This is the opposite of last year's models. So far, I haven't seen any reports about screen issues about either Pixel 3 model. If you've noticed anything good, bad, or weird about your Pixel 3 screens, let us know in the comments. On to Uptown Updates. So Google got a $5 billion fine by the European Union in July due to Android antitrust practices. Google has decided to make some changes. It will offer several licenses for phone and tablet makers in Europe. There will be a paid license for those that want to include Google Play, Maps, Gmail, and YouTube. Another license includes Search and Chrome. Google also said that going forward, Android partners wishing to distribute Google Apps may also build non-compatible or forked smartphones and tablets for the European economic area. The company added, Android will remain free and open source. It's time to talk about Waymo. The company's self-driving cars have crossed their 10 millionth driverless mile on public roads. The company says it's been learning a lot thanks to its early rider program. Waymo is currently allowing people to use their self-driving vehicles for day-to-day -day tasks. Here's an example. When it comes to grocery stores, early riders preferred if Waymo cars would pick up passengers at a shopping cart return area instead of at the front of the main entrance. It's little details like this that can make Waymo cars more polite. Waymo's vehicles are currently being tested in 25 cities, with San Francisco likely to be next. The CEO of Waymo says that the company knows it needs to solve for inclement weather since those other markets tend to have nice weather. Waymo has spent time in Michigan and Tahoe to try to learn more. Alphabet's Jigsaw released a new product called Outline. The company says it lets any organization easily create and operate their own VPN. Outline would allow a company to make its own server. Communications between devices on the VPN would be encrypted, making it difficult for others to snoop on what you're doing. 
Jigsaw was formerly known as Google Ideas, but is now under the Alphabet banner. On its company's site, Jigsaw says it's built to tackle some of the toughest global security challenges facing the world today. Time for Comment Cove. This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight on the most amazing audience in the world, you. IONU92 says, I wish that the new Palm was just its own phone, not having to be paired to another device and without an additional monthly charge. I want small phones to make a comeback. Natalie says, kinda excited for the foldable Samsung. Samsung has the best displays. Deathcare said, curious if you could use Wine to run Windows apps on the Pixel Slate. It's a good question. Lifehacker has a post showing you how you can run Windows app on Chromebooks using Crossover. Greatness says, wait, hold up. What's new about the Google Chromecast? Just the way it's designed? Well, let's check. According to that fantastic tech site, CNET.com, here's what's different. The finish is matte instead of glossy with more rounded edges. Google says the hardware speed is 15% faster, which can improve smoothness on 1080p slash 60 frames per second video streaming. Otherwise, it's basically the same. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online. The reviews for the Google Home Hub are in, and they're generally pretty positive. Also, OnePlus was set to introduce its 6T on October 30th. Then Apple said, hey, you know, we kind of want that day. So, in a completely unrelated note, OnePlus's event is now October 29th.